The Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra has been the best Samsung phone we've seen. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max launched in COVID times, you know, even though we were going through that at the time, Apple still was able to launch the latest iPhone 12 Pro Max. And if you kept it through all those times, but now you're ready to upgrade, let's see how it performs next to the current beast S24 Ultra. We'll begin in a boot up in three, two, and go and see which one could get there first. Now, we are looking at the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 on the left that is boosted for the Galaxy. Also, 12 gigabytes of RAM, so not a 16 gig like some other Android phones. And then on the right, we do have the Apple A14 Bionic chipset, and it does have 6 gigabytes of RAM. And you can see it booted up pretty closely. We are on the April patch for the Samsung, which has been very smooth, by the way. One UI 6.1. And then over here, we do have the iOS 17.4.1, so the latest update's still rocking out on 12 Pro Max. Okay, so when it comes to unlocking these phones, you can look at the S24 Ultra, go right in. However, that's not the most secure method, but it does have a very fast fingerprint sensor. And it's pretty easy to locate it, it's not that difficult. Now on the 12 Pro Max, we're still rocking the same Face ID introduced on the iPhone 10. No real big difference from that. You just kind of raise to wake and it does come up really easily. Super smooth there. Um, now in terms of the actual scrolling, generally the performance on the Samsung, when you initially boot it up, sometimes takes a second to load up the One UI software. But once you're in, it's super fast now. I had to be dramatic there, but it's very fast. We also do have the Android 14 version on here, so very good. Now over here, this is a 60 hertz panel, so I would say this actually feels pretty close to an iPhone 15 Plus. That's the closest this feels like. Google Circle Search was launching over there, but it's still very smooth. Shockingly, well, not really shockingly, it's an iPhone, but this phone hasn't really skipped a beat. And one of the reasons I launched this video is somebody was talking about the iPhone 12 Pro Max and in my comments the other day, they were saying, I still got the 12 Pro Max and I'm keeping it. So I figured, you know what? I wanna see how that thing performs now. And that's why this video spurred upon. All right, so we've arrived at the app test. Everything is closed out for both. Let's begin with calendar. Faster on a Samsung, clock. A little faster on a Samsung. Good alarms, stopwatch, and timers. That was a little faster on the iPhone for timers. We'll go into weather. Samsung launches that first, surprisingly. The animation for the little guy putting his jacket on stuff was a little slower, but calculator. Fast on a Samsung with a history, by the way. Let's go into Play Store, App Store. Oh, you can't compare these are different app stores and play. Yeah, but I'm comparing an Android versus the iPhone. You could say that too, but I don't care because these are two phones that somebody might be considering getting rid of their 12 Pro Max for an S24 Ultra. Keep that in mind. There is trade in people. People do trade in their old phones. That's why a lot of these videos do come about. That's why I like to make them because personally, I trade in my phones too for certain phones. I don't trade in all of them or we wouldn't have no content to make. But you'll see over here. That was uh, loading a little slower there on the left. You'll really notice the 60 hertz um, when you are scrolling up and down when you compare it to a newer phone that was faster on the left. But certain applications still, like right here, it looked choppier on S24 Ultra. Certain apps might still be better optimized for the iPhone experience, which will lead to feeling like it's still a smoother phone, even with 60 hertz. Let's go into X. It's faster on the left. We'll go over here to profile. And that was, I think, the iPhone on that one. Scrolling not too much different. Let's go into Instagram. And you'll see over here, you'll see pretty similar, not a big difference. This 12 Pro Max still performs incredibly well. Let's go into eBay, faster on the left. Still faster than the iPhone. Go into Amazon. And that's faster on the left. Set up out of there, Starbucks. Faster on the left, so a little snappier. This is what I was talking about before, that the Samsung phones are feeling snappier than ever. And we're launching here quicker on the left, but only by a little bit. Again, this game has been out for years, so it's pretty well optimized for both. Still faster on the Samsung though. Bigger screen, no notch though, and more of a easier to, just kind of see everything because you have a bigger display over there. 
Let's go into Free Fire. And of course, the 120 hertz is going to jack up that performance as well. Here in Free Fire, we are launching here first on the left for the Samsung S24 Ultra. Here comes 12 Pro Max, a little bit quicker there. I think the 12 Pro Max had that. It was looking first on the left, but then the 12 Pro Max took it. So got to give credit where credit is due. Let's go on the Subway Surf. And you'll see faster here for, yes, the Samsung. And we'll hit play here. It is kind of crazy that a 2020 launched iPhone 12 Pro Max is keeping up here with the iPhone or with the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Let's go into Temper Run 2. But that goes to show that phones have been really, really performing well for a super long time. But look at that. That just blew away the 12 Pro Max, right? When I started talking, S24 said, Gayete, Nick, aka shut up if you're not aware of what I was just saying in Spanish definitely told me to go ahead and shut up let's go ahead and go over here to pubg mobile and we'll see what happens here so if the question is you're asking should i upgrade my 12 pro max is this s24 ultra a better performer the answer is yes um is it a ton better the answer is in a lot of areas yes can the iphone load a few apps first maybe um but i would say the S24 Ultra is definitely more in comparison with the 15 Pro Max, 14 Pro Max and performance. Let's go into 3D Mark. And you've seen that's faster on the left, Speed Test Net. And faster on the right on that one. Oh, I don't trust your finger. You get some people to say that. Your finger could be totally off. This is incredible. Um, this is not credible. Um, I tap apps just like you tap apps every day. So I don't know what you're talking about, sir. But definitely, um, both of these did very well. I think the difference with the Samsung, though, was snappier animations to launch these apps, a little snappier, like a second or two. And I think overall, it would add up to enough to feel faster day to day than the 12 Pro Max. So if you're looking for a performance upgrade and you want to trade this in, it's definitely a go. Let's go ahead and take a look at this Samsung on the April patch with the animations. Now, I did enable good luck on here to remove the double swipe because I don't like how that looks. And I'm sure a lot of you don't either. So you can see buttery smooth so far. One mistap right there. Another mistap on me. Again, I do have a screen protector on here. Plus, sometimes I'm going too fast. And some people are going to say, nope, that's the touch response. It's better on the iPhone. Eh, not really. It's pretty much the same this year. Look at that. No reloads for the S24 Ultra. Said, welcome to 2024. Let's go over here, 2024 Samsung. Apple's been doing really good in this area for basically ever. Let's go ahead over here. And on 17.4.1, looks like we're finding ourselves incredibly smooth and well-optimized performance. One issue though is the battery has been draining very quickly on my iPhone 12 Pro Max these days. I don't know if it's the software doing that or what's up with that but it hasn't been great. Let me know your experience on the battery, but flawless reload still. Maybe iOS only needs six gigs of RAM. That A14 is not no slow poke either. It's pretty good still. So you can see the S24 Ultra gets around 2014 on the single and 6027 on the multi-core score here. And the iPhone 12 Pro Max around a 2132 on the single and a 5005 on the multi. So a slightly better on the single core, very weird. The Geekbench 6 seems to always take a lead on the iPhone 12 Pro Max or even on iPhones in general. So we're now running the 3D Mark test and you can see the Samsung, this thing hasn't even got to the graphics yet. Still loading. This thing is blazing through this. So graphically speaking, the Samsung will be a major, major, and one more time, major jump for you over the 12 Pro Max. All right, so we have a 4612. That is a monster score here on the S24 Ultra and a 2288 on the iPhone. That is more than double on the frame rates as well. 27.62, more than doubling the 12 Pro Max's frame rates at 13.7. So this phone scores better 91%. This only better than 49% of all devices. So while the iPhone is still a very good performer, it is absolutely crushed by the Samsung in the GPU. 
So definitely this will be a big update if you want to do some gaming as well. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Should you upgrade to a Galaxy S24 Ultra when it comes to the performance over the iPhone 12 Pro Max? The answer after this video is not only a yes, but a heck yes, because it's more than 50% faster where it really matters in the GPU and also in the CPU day to day. Um, it's still quicker and takes better advantage and you're gonna have a lot of fun if you got bored of iOS with all the multitasking features the Galaxy AI The you know theme stores of course AI is coming to iPhones later But I'm not sure 12 Pro Max is gonna get this that would be a shocker But if it does that would be pretty cool The iPhone 12 Pro Max is still a great phone for everyday use though Nobody's probably complaining about their day-to-day -day operations with this phone. It really isn't gonna let you down. It doesn't feel super out of date. So if you wanted to keep this hold on to see what's coming next, that's also a good idea. Either way, you're not losing. Smartphones these days are just freaking amazing. It's like a dream come true. They were like all the things I dreamed about before them becoming. They are that now. So thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you on the next episode. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.